Run away from any church that focuses mainly on preaching about money, preaching about prosperity, promising you that 2019 is going to be your year to prosper, 2020 shall be your year to make it. Listen, 2020 you will not make it. As long as you are not in right standing with God. All these past 10 years, 2005 was your year, 2006 was your year, 2007 was your year, 2008 was your year. Up to now, all those years have been your years. But what did you get out of them? Nothing. It is time to go back to Christ. Go back to the beginning. Go back to your first love. And your first love is prayer, the word, and understanding more and more about the gospel of Jesus Christ. And not all these things of material promises. Let me take you to the scripture in the book of uh, 1 John chapter 2, and I'm going to read from verse number 15. The Bible makes it very clear, and it says, Love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. Okay, and Tina Oka say, Run away from a church, be omotai esresisika. Church, be omotai e cancer and semono. And a year will be your way, year will be your way, or your kings will not correct. Usha wa bra bo mwa, wa cheke wede wanka se buse wawo hon. From 2021, ebisi this time, eni eshe wo bo. This year se ni bisi, next year se ni bisi, this year se ni bisi. Ta ane tiye, bibi eni ho asesa, eni hon komun wudi wa hano. Ok. Verse number 16 is the one that changes my life. For all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh, and the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life is not of the Father, but it is of the world. Run away from any church that focuses mainly on prophecies, 90% of the service. When are you going to receive the word? Okay, next one, I'm going to say that I'm going to say that because run away from a sorry bit of my entire prophecies. I'm going to say that 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 I'm going to Nipa ete ho oji obi kunu ni esa abo mpa ya ta na chi ti nipa kro no kunu no kone kwaje no nipa te wo boni se ni tri no te aso dem ni esa di nyira e ta na pampem run away from sansor na no hun komo no di the word that is going to change your life you don't fight the devil with prophecy hmm? but when you are prophesied your life is exposed to the devil and the devil fights you and if you do not have the word of god to fight against the devil your own is finished hmm? According to the word, the Bible says, do not be lovers of the world. Anything that is of the world, don't love it. But be lovers of the things of the spirit. Anytime we call for a prophetic service, everyone is there. Anytime we call for breakthrough service, everyone is there. Let me declare and let me say this boldly, without fear and without trembling. The prosperity gospel is the biggest lie that has ever been introduced to the body of Christ. Mm. Any gospel that promises you material things, promises you money, promises you cars. Now listen to me and listen to me very clearly. As I say to you, it is a scam. It benefits the scammer. And all those who are scammed in the process of the prosperity gospel lose everything. Prosperity gospel has given birth to a generation of covetous people, a generation of greedy people, a generation of lustful people. Why? Because it forces you to fall in love with the world without falling in love with Christ. It is time to go back to the basics and it's time to go back to Christ. For so many years you've been shouting, I receive in the church. And up until today, there is nothing that you have received. Don't you see that this is a scam? When are you going to realize that it is a scam? Run away from any church that focuses on miracles 24-7 without focusing on the word of God. Am I speaking against miracles? Am I speaking against prophecies? I'm not speaking against those things, for they are all biblical. But understand this, signs and wonders... Miracles and prophecies, they are like a bait. A bait that we use to go and fish for men in the world and bring them to the kingdom of God. When we bring them to the kingdom of God, it is now our assignment to teach them the word. 
precept after precept, teaching them how to live in the kingdom of God. How do I use a worm to catch a fish from the sea? Now I have the fish in my basket and I'm still feeding it with the worm. The fish is caught. There is no need to continue giving worms to a fish that is caught. Let us change the diet. Let us change the things that we give after we have fished for men from the world. You are in Christ. You don't need prophecies anymore. You are in Christ. You don't need miracles anymore. You need the word. And it is the word of God that is going to be a miracle in your life. It is the word of God that is going to be a prophecy in your life. Romans 1, the Bible says, I'm not ashamed of the gospel, for it is the power of God unto salvation to them that believe. The gospel does not have power. The gospel does not have miracles. The gospel does not have prophecies. But it is the power. It is the miracle. And it is the prophecy. The prosperity gospel promises you that by this time next year, you shall be driving a car. By this time next year, you shall be having a ring on your finger. By this time next year, you shall be having your own house. Why? Because by this time next year, we still want to see you in the church. By this time next year, we still want to keep you in bondage. But when you are receiving the true gospel of Jesus Christ, it does not come to promise you anything, but it comes to empower you. That is why you see that so many pastors and so many prophets will tell you that I have come here to raise millionaires. I've come here to raise billionaires. That is a lie. That is a scam. We are not called to raise millionaires. We are not called to raise billionaires, but we are called to raise disciples. The prosperity gospel is taking a lot of people to hell. Those who are preaching it, and those who are living it, and those who are receiving it, and those who are living in it, and there's no way out of it. Be in right standing with God. Before you know it, you'll be an armed robber. Before you know it, you'll be a thief. Before you know it, you'll be a husband snatcher. Why? Because you are being promised every single day. Now you are under pressure to make it. You are under pressure to be a millionaire because the prophet said you shall be a millionaire by this time next year. It was a lie and it is a scam. Run away from it. This is Jay Israel, the voice of reason. And may the Lord be with you. Okay, it's here, Jay Israel in some way, but to Jaya. A very touching and very serious information on the other one. Obi you hear me say, yeah, yeah, shen a boa, shen a boa, shen a boa, usu ben pa, shen a bo, eh, yana jegeji shen a bo, ubi ni mu shen a bo, eh, obo fo shen a bo, eh, so sali fo mwako shen a bo, eh, pa mbo shen a bo, eh, bo omole shen a omole se, this year you say ni besi wa bra boom, this year you say ni besi wa bra boom, this year you say ni besi wa bra boom, saane tiye besi si ya, that's why tiye ayye ka say, and hon komon wo di prosperity gospel, Enye anu hunti na akwa asore dem. Ose yuwe na na hiniye. Enne tine ni ene kane. Ya kano wwe jane di beka wun. Oti wubwa ni mo upe nishira. Beti mili wajwi nishira gwo. Midi di yekwa naba buwatini. Aha e yekwa naba television. That's it. Ube ti mi a subscribe to your channel anu. Se de be edi video tuwa wansa beka nti. Uwe ya ya ashe. Ni mi adoma anu soso. Video ni be tohwa ana wansu wwe ti me hunye bina wansu wawwe. Afin sifa a comment in suku video na se. Ye cheke e ye page anu. Ye huni se ni po ma subscribe to your channel anu. E ye 51.8%. 48.2 and subscribe a you bet my subscribe now so i can a 51.8 in a home and i think you check it a geographical no location no any power my a subscribe no more can you boost you know us the dean can you can a toss for germany in a toss for ghana but it's italy about the bia one also bet me a subscribe now if you watch it now no comment in so good video now say like a page you know now if you want me out of my so video number two announce when you be a hurry me that's it